Stage 1 is simply that innocent phase in which the future heavy main comes to pick heavy for the first time. Since there's 9 unique classes, for some people, trying to pick between them all can feel like a hard choice, like picking your first starter Pokémon, but for the future heavy main, the choice is quite simple. See, while most players here would see 9 individual, mature classes, what the future heavy main sees are 8 individual, small baby men. For example, you have the Loud Baby, the Scary Baby, the Masked Baby, and I guess the Smart Baby? We'll call this one Boss Baby. But then among all these babies, they see one mammoth, 6 foot 3, 440 pound Russian, known as the Heavy. The future Heavy main is immediately drawn to the intimidating aura of this Heavy, and much to the horror of their therapist, thinks killing tons of baby men with a minigun sounds pretty epic and gamer. Oh my god, this class is so cool! He's got a big, huge minigun, and he's big and he's strong! He, he reminds me of my dad! Wait, your, your dad's got a minigun? At this point, the heavy man has just begun putting their first couple hours into the class, and are really starting to like it. They think it's awesome how much damage they can put out in such a quick amount of time, while simultaneously, how much damage they can take without dying. It's around this point that the Heavy Main just might get their very first kill streak, or be accompanied by their very first Pocket Medic, and they start finding the brute power behind this class exhilarating. Even if at this point, they're literally just moving forward and holding Mouse 1. Come on, come on, come on. What? No, 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 no! Hot? Oh! Oh ho ho ho! Yo! Yo, did anybody just see that? Yo, that was at least five people, right? Yo, is there a comp mode in this game? I think I should do comp. As the Heavy progresses, they begin learning the basics on how to play more effectively. Things such as jump revving to close distance, strafing in weird patterns to throw off their enemy's aim, and learning some solid positioning to gain advantage. At this point, the Heavy will also begin formulating some early, naive opinions on their different weaponry. Oh man, this gun slows down scouts? Oh, this must be the best! What, what is this? Just like a skinnier version of the minigun? I, I don't know, that's kind of weird. Oh my god, this thing can spit flames around it while it's shooting? Yo, this must be the best ever. Yo, I can't wait to put this on and show those stupid spies that they can't just come up and backstep. What? This is the unfortunate stage every heavy main goes through, where they come to realize that their glorified tank class has its limits. At this point, they fall in deep in love with the dopamine hits they get from mowing down entire enemy teams, but the problem is that they sometimes have problems replicating this experience. See, the heavy at this point lacks map awareness, so they're constantly getting sniped, they lack tracking, so they're easily thrown off by fast movements, and worst of all, they lack a proper paranoia for spies. So spies will absolutely hunt down and embarrass these oblivious heavies, probably right before adding them to some epic spy frag montage. The Heavy will also begin hating just how slow they are at times, realizing they're constantly being killed half the time just because Heavy can't move fast enough. It's at this point they begin to wonder if Heavy is really even the class for them. That's it, dude. That's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna what? do it, dude. No, I'm gonna do, do it. I'm gonna sell don't. it, dude. No, no I'm gonna no, sell it. No, no, don't do it. I'm serious. No, Joey. No, I'm selling no. it. No, I'm oh. selling it, dude. This is it. <laughs> Here, the frustrated heavy main begins trying out different classes and seeing if maybe they can find a different main altogether. They have fun and they actually learn a lot about the different characters they didn't know before, such as the different strategies other classes will use, their strengths, and their weaknesses. The problem they'll face here, however, is that now they're used to the benefits of heavy's high health and fast shooting. So they're not used to things like having to aim perfectly with sniper, or predicting projectiles with demo, or even just grasping that other classes can't take nearly as much abuse as the heavy. Because of this, the players begin dying often with other classes as well, and begins getting even more and more frustrated at the game, inevitably leading up to a phenomenon fondly known by TF2 players as the Rage Heavy. That's it! That's it! Ah! Hey, jo 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 Joey, Joey, hey man, it's okay, it's us, we're a team, we're blue, right? Right? After so many games of defaulting to Rage Heavy, the Heavy Main finally accepts what they truly are, a Heavy Main. And they pick up essentially where they left off before, only this time, a bit more cultured. See, now they know more about how their enemies play, and can therefore benefit from that newfound wisdom. 
For instance, they know how to avoid sniper sightlines better, they can predict fast movements better, and are much more paranoid of spies overall. They've even become a better teammate overall, learning how to make crucial uber pushes with quick decision-making skills, and even learn how to throw their sandwiches to their teammates. And, yes, before you ask, yes, it does take heavy mains until step 6 to learn this. Don't, don't ask me why this is, just accept it and move on. <laughs> After the acceptance stage, the Heavy just begins having a lot of fun with the class again. They know they're not the best in the world, but they still try and lead their team to victory every game, and of course, get as big of a killstreak as possible. Most everything the Heavy will have learned at this point, though, is essentially self-taught, and their skill level here is probably best defined as intermediate. But despite all that, at this point, many Heavies will still begin top scoring on their team more often than not, and begin attracting medics like flies. With the coordination of these new loyal medics, the Heavy will often find themselves performing better than they used to, making major plays for their team and winning most games they join. And it's because of this that many heavy mains will never actually pass this stage. They'll grow content with how well they already do in the game and think that they've basically learned really everything they need to know about the heavy class, even though they still mess up real basic concepts like telling the medic when to pull Uber. Alright, looks like we got the 100% Uber. Alright, so we'll just drop down here and then my medic's gonna pull on me and then... What? M medic! Medic, what were you doing?! Are you blind?! What kind of sign from Gaben do you need?! STUPID! STUPID! At this point, the Heavy Main knows something is missing with their gameplay. They're winning a lot of their games, but they're also losing some games, and realizing that there's some way better Heavies out there. But, unfortunately at this point, the Heavy has become so bored of playing the same way for so many games, that they decide they just want to do something different. Not anything like switch classes again, because they already know they're meant to be a Heavy now, but just something outside the regular meta. And so, like a bad Zelda timeline, the Intermediate Heavy becomes one of three subclasses. He might choose to become the Funny Fat Scout, running around with a shotgun just like the Scout from TF2. Haha, <laughs> lol. The Fat Scout will literally die for this meme, and they'll continue doing so many times until they realize it's not fun anymore. The second subclass a Heavy might pick here is, of course, the legendary Hoovy, a Heavy that, against his entire team's best wishes, is obsessed with trying to make friends with enemy players. The Hoovy's entire strategy is to crouch walk around the map very slowly and and throw sandwiches to the enemy team. They'll try to make their loadouts look as unintimidating as possible, often equipping goofy cosmetics, the holiday punch as their melee, and are probably literally at this moment trying to purchase a spectral splattered war paint for their minigun because, you know, make love not bullets, man. But lastly, and worst of them all, the heavy might choose the hidden subclass, the cursed heavy. Bearded expense isn't real. Bearded expense isn't real. Bearded expense isn't real. Bearded expense isn't real. <laughs> Alright. All right, I got it. All right, I just gotta get the f out of here. <laughs> Bearded expense isn't real. Bearded expense isn't real. Bearded expense isn't real. Bearded expense isn't real. Almost there. Almost there. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, Joey! <laughs> Bearded! No! What the f do you think you're going, Porky? You you get your ass back here. That's fucking mine. About this. That is mine. Bearded. You hear me? No! Look, Bearded. I don't even want the suitcase anymore. Okay, look, I dropped it. I dropped it. Okay, I don't even want. How? What? No! 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 Can't escape the presence of these big Sasquatch heads. How are you doing this? Get back here! Get back from me, Beardy! You Beardy. cannot outrun me, Joey! I'm warning get, you! Get back! <laughs> Let's just talk this out. I'm taking us both down! If the heavy main breaks free from step 7 or 8 and decide that they finally want to learn what it takes to be like those better heavies they met before, they'll find themselves here. This is the stage in which the heavy main has truly decided that they want to try and become the best heavy they can and are really willing to study the craft. Now beyond just practicing and working on their positioning, this level of heavy will also begin trying to learn from other heavies. And they might go about this in a variety of different ways, such as looking up heavy Steam guides, watching heavy YouTube content, both new and old, or maybe joining a heavy-related Discord, such as the Heavy Warriors. See, the Stage 7 Heavy would have thought that they'd already learned it all by now, that the Heavy was nothing more than a simple W plus Mouse 1 class, but had they searched a bit harder, the Heavy would have learned things they've never thought of before, concepts they may have never even knew existed, such as 
crouching while fighting to reduce hitboxes, shooting from head-high walls to maximize cover, replenishing lunchbox items by running over health packs, tap firing for quickly maximizing accuracy, using voice lines to cancel out loud eating, flank spots the enemies won't expect, crouch jumping to throw off snipers, different ways to use ubers more effectively, baiting opponents into traps, and the list just goes on. But the point is, there are plenty of things that the average player or the average heavy don't think about when it comes to this class, which is why the actual best heavies are the ones who really put the time and research into their craft, finally separating them from the average heavy. A stage only few heavies ever reach. This heavy is a force to be reckoned with. Either found in your local competitive scene, or just standing outside your spawn room terrorizing your casual lobby, the Zeus tier heavy is truly a master of their craft. This heavy has reached thousands on thousands of kills on their minigun, and because of it, have scary sentry-like tracking. They know their maps like the back of their hand, so they're constantly aware of their surroundings, use flank routes, and often preemptively shoot in the places they suspect spies. Their positioning is also one of their best used tools, so you'll often have to face them in uncomfortable situations. And to make matters worse, this stage of heavy will usually always come paired with a medic, whether they ask for one or not, and make major plays for their team. Together, the medic and the heavy's ubers are typically strategic and disastrous for the other team, leaving them in a state of panic and disarray. And with all the destruction they cause, players might confuse this stage of heavy with the rage heavy from before, but it's a horrible mistake to make. This is a trained machine with only one goal in mind, devastation. And this stage of heavy will never have to become a rage heavy ever again, because they now hold one deep, dark secret. Now might be a really good time for you to get angry. That's my secret, Cap. I'm always angry. Ah!